Hey guys, welcome to Saturday! So I don't know if you've ever noticed, but there's this weird phenomenon that happens sometimes where people mishear a word and in the mishearing of that word actually kind of create new words or new phrases that don't really exist. Do you know what I'm talking about? Here's some examples. The first example I have for you is actually the first song I ever wrote that I remember liking for more than five minutes past when I wrote it. I was listening to the radio with my dad and they played a song by a singer named JC Velasquez and when it was over I asked, was that a band called Chasing Alaskas? So even though I misheard it, I still thought Chasing Alaskas was a great phrase, so I ended up writing a song by that name about trying to reach for unattainable goals that you'll never achieve and thinking back on it, it wasn't a very, like, positive song, but I kind of still think it's a cool name for a band. Before I ever heard it pronounced, I thought the CH sound in Wachovia Bank was a CH, so every time I drove past one, I always thought, that's nice. I'd love to use a bank that was watching over me. Wachovia. <laughs> you know the keyless entry? that some cars have. When I was a kid, I thought it was pronounced Kila Sentry, and I thought, like, Kila was the, like, make of the car, like, Ford or Chevy, something like that, and Sentry was that specific model. I used to think that when people were saying rum and coke, they were calling it a Roman coke. I actually just looked that up on UrbanDictionary.com and apparently Roman Coke is a slang phrase for rum and coke because apparently when you're drunk because you've had a few rum and cokes, it kind of starts to sound like you're saying Roman Coke. Ah, I'll have another rum and coke, bartender. So that's just a few of the examples of things that I have misheard in my lifetime. Have you ever done this? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye